Hi, welcome to the book bar where everything bookish is on the menu. I'm Ann Jeanette Barr and I wanted to give you an update about my thoughts on Kindle Vela. I'm going to be looking at it both as a reader and as a Vela author, a writer. So two months ago when Bella came out, um, I made a video that was a walkthrough. I made it the very first day of Bella, just as soon as it went live, and it's mostly screen um, capture, so you can go and watch that. I'll link it above and below. Um, and not, not a lot has changed, so that's still a very relevant video for just an overview of Bella. So I would suggest going back and watching that if this is the first time you're hearing about Kindle Bella. But now that we have had two whole months of Bella being in beta, um, but live beta, I wanted to just go over some things that I've learned and what my overall impressions are of the platform now that we've had some time to look at it. So Kindle Bella is a serialized reading platform that Amazon has put out. It's similar to some apps that you may be familiar with like Radish and Wattpad. Um, and anyone can post a Kindle Vela story, uh, but to read the Kindle Vela stories, you use tokens, and the first 200 are free, and how many tokens each episode of a story costs depends on the length of the episode. So I'm gonna pull up um, Kindle Vela here on my phone and share my screen so that you can see um, exactly what I'm talking about. So this is Kindle Vela, and you can either watch it, um, sorry, you can either use it in a browser on your phone like I'm doing, or if you have an iPhone, you can use your iOS app uh, for Kindle. You can read it on your Kindle app with an iPhone, um, but not yet for Android. So since I have an Android phone, I have to use my browser. And it is very mobile friendly. I mean, this is what it's made for. It is created as a uh, something that you can use just on the go to read an episode here and there and not have to worry about um, losing your place in a longer novel. And it's always with you because it's on your phone. So it is a mobile first app. And there are lots and lots of different types of stories, as you can see. Um, I'm going to take you to one that I'm reading right now, which is this one. Macchiatos, Fairy Princes, and Other Things That Happen at Midnight. Um, so this is season one by Crystal Crawford and she has a great YouTube channel. I'll link below as well. Um, I've been learning from her and just enjoying, um, seeing the author experience through her videos, but I've really been enjoying her story too. It's a YA fantasy. You can read the, um, description here. So you can see that I clicked that and it shows you more. It also shows you the different tags that she has chosen to describe her. Her book. So she's chosen Magic, Fae, Mystery, High School, Fantasy, Sweet Romance, and Just Kisses. If you click on any of these, like I'm about to do, you can see that a whole list of things that also, stories, that also used that, oops, let's go back. <laughs> I don't know why that happened. Um, you can see that a whole um, list of stories that use that tag also came up. So I guess right now they're showing you the top faved and then the whole list. So that's actually new. I haven't seen that before. I haven't, it's been a while since I've clicked on it. So what happened was when I clicked that, it shows you the most popular three at the top. And then it shows you the whole list of stories that used just kisses as a tag. So that's a tag that's used to denote like a, um, a clean romance or romance that only has, um, very low steam level. Um, so, some people just prefer for the more intimate things to happen off page. So that's what that tag is. And here is the story that I'm reading, Macchiatos, Fairy Princes, and other things that happen at midnight. Um, so going back to that, I have read five episodes, and when I'm ready to read the sixth episode, it shows it down here. Um, it's called Head Bumps and Shocking Realizations. So 
I hit episode six and it gives me the option to unlock the episode. So I'm going to unlock that with my tokens. You get 200 tokens free, like I told, like I said at the beginning, but I have gone ahead and purchased more tokens so that I can, um, read more beyond my 200. So you put purchase it with tokens and that 22 tokens was because her story is approximately 2200 words for this episode. An episode is like a chapter in a story, but if you're unfamiliar with serialized fiction, um, it doesn't necessarily feel like chapters. One of the thing, one of the things you might feel is that these are really short chapters because they're really just meant to be bites of a story that can be consumed in a short amount of time. So I will read this, not right now, but I'll read it. And uh, then at the bottom, I'll have the option, scroll, 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 to like, give her a thumbs up. And there's also a little note here that you can see from her. So um, that's how Kindabella works. Obviously, I want you to go and read her story for yourself and not from my screen. Um, and I have all these stories that I'm following uh, in a queue here so that when I have some time, I can go back and find the stories that looked interesting to me and read a little bit of them. So that it's, it's a really fun platform. As a reader, I'm really enjoying it. Let me stop sharing my screen. As a writer, um, it's been really interesting. It's been a little bit of an emotional roller coaster. I decided to do Kindle Vela because I had a story that was more or less done and um, it did have fairly short chapters. I thought I could adapt it to this format. Um, and I had decided that I would probably not publish it, not seek out publication for this one anytime soon. So I thought it would be a fun one to try with this platform since it was already kind of ready. Um, I had been through a developmental edit and I knew what I needed to change. So I thought this gives me the opportunity and the incentive to change those things as I go. So when Bella launched, I already had, I think seven episodes ready completely redone. And then I had the whole, I had a plan for redoing the rest. And my thought was I wouldn't talk about it much online on my social media platforms or like send out a newsletter and tell people because I wanted to see if Vela would be a good platform for an emerging author that didn't already have, um, an audience to pull from. So I went ahead and used my pen name and I did not make any announcements and I just wanted to see what would happen if I just went into it. And what happened was I really enjoyed the platform. I got to know a lot of authors who are also using Vela. I like the behind the scenes experience of writing episode by episode. Um, I really like a whole lot of it, but no one had, had found my story. Um, so in some ways it was a failed experiment in that it did not generate for me readers that just browsed through Vela, saw my story and thought, oh, that looks interesting and then read it. Um, and that's disappointing because like I said, I wanted to see if this was a viable platform for writers that were just s stepping out from nowhere into the field, the, the world of storytelling. Um, and also because I was kind of hoping for some objective feedback on my story. I, I wanted to build an audience just on the merit of the story and not my name. Uh, and since that's not happening, I didn't, I don't feel that fulfillment from that part of the desire that I had to try out this cool new type of writing, but it has had many positives. One, I'm writing my story. I'm finishing it. Um, all the edits are going really well, uh, writing an episode a week or correcting in my, in my case, an episode a week has been about the right pace for me. I had hoped to be further along in that than, uh, than I am, but I've got 14 episodes up now and I'm releasing one a week. So I'm really enjoying that, um, accountability. And like I said, I've met some other writers through this, which has been great. It's led to some more collaborations for the future. So that's worth it for sure. Just to meet more writers and to have more, more things in my, um, my plans for the future. Um, and I didn't necessarily go into it to make any money. It would have been great, right? If it was just like this gold mine for, for writers that was, um, not oversaturated and we could get in and make money. Uh, but you do have to have readers for that. But Amazon has actually, I've been pleasantly surprised by how they've taken care of us. So our first initial reactions from almost everyone was Amazon's not pulling in readers. We know this is a beta, but like no one's finding our stories. 
But then we've started to see ads pop up here and there, and maybe you've seen them too while you've been browsing, you've seen Bella ads. Um, and it does seem like they're trying to reach out to the serialized readers from other platforms with the wording they're using. You know, they're, they're using stories like, words like stories one bite at a time. People who are already familiar with serial stories are going to see that and know what it's talking about. It's intriguing enough for some people to try when that's not their normal mode of reading. So we're seeing them start to reach out. But because most of the readers who have found Vela are either writers or they are readers that a specific writer with a large platform has brought on and they're only reading their stories. A lot of us have been disappointed that we haven't seen more traffic on our stories that's just organic. Um, all that to say, Amazon rolled out a bonus program for authors. So normally authors get paid um, per token, essentially, that gets spent on it. Um, when people pay for tokens, when they get past that 200 free token um, line, then authors get paid for those paid tokens. So basically when Amazon get pay, gets paid, authors get a chunk of it. And it's, not, it's still a little unclear as far as how exactly everything goes, because there's some other working pieces and parts, though there's a great Vela community page in the KDP community. So if you're a writer, it's that's, that's where you go to find out, is go to the KDP community page and read everything that there is there. Um, but Amazon rolled out uh, early or um, bonuses, what am I trying to say, like kind of like a sign-on bonus for those people who are getting in on it here at the beginning while it's still in beta. So they said they're going to continue this until the end of the year. And in these first few months, not only are we getting paid for those paid tokens, but they're paying us for the free tokens. So the first three episodes of every story are free and people get 200 free tokens when they sign on, or when they sign up to be a Vela reader. And Amazon is paying the authors for those free ones right now. So say people are just trying to try out Vela and they, they end up not committing or they forget about it or whatever after those first three stories. Uh, normally we wouldn't be paid for not just the first three stories, but uh, all of their 200 free tokens that they use because the first three, three episodes of every story don't cost tokens. Um, we're being paid for those free tokens that they use. Uh, so that's been really great. And there's some other things that we're getting bonuses for, and we really don't know <laughs> what exactly what they are because we don't know their, the algorithm they're using. But it seems like we might be getting some extra bonuses for when people like episodes and, I don't know, maybe follow us or give us those crowns that you saw, which are top faved. If you really like a story, then once a week you have the opportunity to designate it as your top faved story. Seems like we may be seeing some bonuses from that, but none of us really know exactly what we're being paid for. Okay, editing Anjanette jumping in to say that I meant to tell you that the reason I'm recording today is that the bonuses for August dropped in our dashboards this morning. And um, I wanna just pop them up on my screen just for transparency so you can see. I have very few readers right now and last month well, July, for July, what came onto my dashboard last month was around $10, and this month I made around $50. So that's really exciting, and I thought maybe seeing the numbers um, and knowing that Amazon's really doing great about those bonuses, like I said, would um, encourage more authors to write. So there's that. All that to say, I have made a little bit of money from Kindle Vela, and that's been exciting, and um, I think it will motivate a lot of us to stay on the platform. So good job, Amazon. Um, when it is early in a program like this and no one's, no one knows about it yet, it's easy for writers to feel like we're putting in a lot of work for no return. Um, and even though we still have a small number of readers, it's nice that Amazon is saying thank you through the bonuses um, for having our story out there, for gifting them these stories to then share with their customers. So I know this is a short little uh, recap and I'm talking kind of fast because I just want to get this up so that you guys uh, get this um, update while it's still very relevant. Um, but if you are a reader thinking about Vela, 
Um, I do think that it's just a fun, fun platform, and I think there's some really great stories on there, so I would definitely recommend checking it out. Like I said, the first three episodes of every story are free, and you get 200 free tokens just for trying out the platform. You can read it in your browser on your phone if you have an uh, Android. You can read it in your iOS Kindle app if you have an iPhone, and um, you can read it in a browser on your laptop too. So anywhere that has a browser, you can read it. It's just made to be kind of a mobile um, platform and so a lot of people read it on their phones. Um, they probably will roll out the Android app at some point. I think that they um, have invested enough in this platform that I think we'll see that, but that's kind of everyone's best guess right now. And if you are a writer, I think if you're going to jump in, do it now. Um, it's nice to be getting these bonuses. It's nice to have the enthusiasm of um, this being a new product and it's not oversaturated right now. And I do think that some people will continue to be discouraged and leave the platform if they're just barely starting out and not seeing any traffic. And that will be unfortunate because our stories are all worth telling. But I do think there's going to be room in Kindle Vela for a while for us writers. Um, like I said, I really wasn't planning on advertising my story. I am going to link it in the description below. So if you're curious, <laughs> you're, you're welcome to go check it out. But I think I'm going to continue to see what happens with mostly organic uh, readership for myself, uh, just people browsing and um, seeing those stories. I did see that Amazon is listening to our suggestions. The writers have been saying things like, we wish that it had this and this, and some little things have happened. And one of the things that just recently happened, or at least we just recently noticed it, is that um, when you upload a new story, uh, there is a section on the website that says new stories now. So that's great for people who are thinking, oh, but you know, I'm going to start writing this new story and it's going to be buried beneath the 2000 stories that are already on Vela. They're actually, they actually are starting to highlight the new ones. So that is great for anyone who wants to jo jump in now, even if you didn't get in at the very beginning, you can get in anytime. So uh, I hope that's helpful, whether you are a reader or a writer, considering using Vela. And ask me questions. Um, like I said, it was really fast. So ask me questions and I will always answer the comments. Thanks.